if your organization, UK Citizen is the biggest organization in the country, Islamophobia is a really high. Mm -hmm. This is something really, really nasty for everybody else. You know, no one likes uh, racist, uh, no one likes this kind of stuff. Is there any campaign? Is there anything you're doing about it? Yeah, I mean, what kind of stuff do you do? One of the things difficult about Islamophobia is uh, there is no arc Islamophobe. So there's not one person that's responsible for Islamophobia, right? And so it's really spread out, it's complicated. So Citizens UK, because we're a diverse alliance of lots of civil society organisations, what we've done is we've set up a commission into Islam. So we're going to go up and down the country to the various alliances we have in London, in Birmingham, in Nottingham, in Milton Keynes, in Cardiff, um, Newcastle. I think I've hopefully named most of them. Um, and we're going to visit the different Muslim communities there and other communities that work with the Muslims. And we're going to take this commission that is chaired by a guy called Dominic Greaves, who used to be the former attorney um, general for the government. So he's a, he used to be a minister, in, he's a conservative. And it's also got people like the former head of the MI6, former head of land forces in uh, Afghanistan. It's got the former, um, it's got uh, like currently the electoral commission. So it's a very diverse um, set of people and it's not mainly Muslim. So it's a very objective but powerful, especially within policy terms. They're very powerful. And they're going to visit the different alliances and look at this. What are the contributions the Muslims make? Because we actually do lots of good things. You know? But we also do bad things. To be fair, yeah, and, and if we don't acknowledge our, our wrongs, I completely agree. we never learn. I completely you can't agree. just brush everything out of this Islamophobia. It's maybe not. Yeah. This is the, how we see it. But to be fair with everybody else, yeah, there are some, and there are some we probably overdoing it. How do you see it? Yeah, so I completely agree with you. There's lots that we need to learn. So if we look at something, an issue that's quite current, it's like lots of Muslim schools closing down. Um, some of it, we can argue potentially, is because um, there might be a, an agenda or a certain way of looking at Muslim schools, therefore, that they're being attacked. They've got an issue with madrasas, but then they're protecting, say, Sunday schools. So th th there's this sort of thing going on, and you're going, oh, hold on. Is there double standards? What's really going on here? And actually, some of our schools, because they're not part of like um, the way the state system works, they might not follow or be aware of all the rules and regulations and have the same access to training and resources or funding in order to make things happen. So we want this. We want to be like, OK, let's see who we can get um, support from for the grievances we have, like the issues we have in certain parts of the media and government and whatever, and the relationship between Muslims and the government. But also, let's look at ourselves and see the things that we can improve and see how everybody else can help us. So that's the way. Um, and this commission, hopefully within the next two years, will come up with a compact so we can um, say, oh, here's the commissioners, here's civil society, the state and government. Let's see what solutions we can make together and really act on them. I'm sure there's some goodness behind. Because of the, the really hard policies that come in, people are changing. They, they get into a standard high. They are thinking about broadening their um, education. They're thinking about doing the uh, building works. There's some good news behind it as well. Yes, if you stand in the right place, they're welcome to do that. And I think we should, we should see also positiveness as well into that. Because you could see in the corner, every corner we have this and that and that. Are they really safe? You know, there, there are lots of things that are happening. So we, I think in two, we see two ways. One is government doing, trying to do, uh, maybe they have the agenda behind, we don't know. But they are trying to do better for everybody else. What do you think? I think it's about accountability. You, um, okay. you can't just hope that you're going to elect a politician and they're going to do the right thing. Uh, you have to always be on it. You have to always make sure that people are doing the right thing. Uh, sometimes good people make really bad decisions. So we need to make sure that we help them make the right decisions. And sometimes there's bad people making really terrible decisions which we need to stop. So I think that's probably the better way of seeing it.